I'm Roxanne Jervis and I'm a Canadian artist. I have a little trick on how you can make your composition easier. On a previous video, I talked about the Union Jack and I call that my nose work. This is my yes work and it's the simple X's and O's frame. Something that most people have played and you just put the X's and O's in your mind on your canvas and what you can do if you don't want to do your lines is put a little tick in all these one-third marks on the edge of your canvas to remind you where those marks are. The reason for this is that you can then space your work properly. You can have a horizon line above the middle because that's a no from the Union Jack. Your horizon line can go either high with a lot of foreground and a little bit of sky if you're wondering about all the background noise, I'm on my daughter's balcony in Hong Kong trying to get this video done. Back to the X's and O's. You can put your horizon line at the one-third from the top or the one-third from the bottom. That will avoid having your picture drawn, drawn in half if you have it centered. Also, if you have your subject matter focused off-center, that will give you a much nicer composition. So by following this simple outline, you can save a lot of problems. Another little trick when you are painting, right down to the paint, is have one of your corners light and the other three dark, or one corner dark and the other three light. That will give you a much nicer appearance to what you're representing. Another reason by using the X's and O's square is that it will remind you to have one corner of your drawing light and the other three corners dark. Or have one corner dark and the other three corners light. That will make your finished product much more appealing. To see any other vi videos, click below. And if you want to check my website, there's a room for comments and I would be happy to answer them. So thank you for watching.